Motherfucker, rip your butthole out of place. I might get it. We the killers, motherfucker. Who you gonna get? I handle homo solo. Wait. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction video today. I'm bringing back a video that I didn't even watch back when it was big, man. It's uh, Gully Boy. Shout out to Gully Boy. That's 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 my guy right there. That is my guy. This is the top 25 most suspect rap lyrics of all time. I'm assuming this is his uh, his his choice of which ones was the worst out of the ones that he showed before, with well, part one through five. But Yo, shout out to Gully Boy. Y'all go subscribe to him because the link to this video and him is down in the description. Go hit him up. Subscribe to my man. Protected by niggas with big dicks, AKs, and 187 <laughs> skills. Let me tell you something. You might got more cash than me, but you, you ain't got the skills to eat a nigga's ass like me. Bell groupies get when one. I come from the rear. You look so good, huh? I suck on your daddy's dick. I like to fuck him in the ass while he beat up the fuck. He's really gay. I never had my dick sucked by a man before. But you gon' be the first, you little trick ass hoe. Yeah, motherfucker, right back on your ass. I hear in the bushes and I cut up through the grass. What you running for, bitch? You fake Irish faggot. You got a big booty of a last, let me tell you. Picture me, pay for pussy when the dicks for free. I see him sitting in my face with they ass up. Let me put my cape on, my rubber and my mask up. Oh I give this faggot a French kiss. Got them since nothing in my mouth and not inside my hand. 80 pound ball, thick six inch long. Shorty got some real good pinners. That's my song, though. Shout out to T.J. I eat a nigga ass like an almond joy. Hey, look at, look at, uh, skin back there, nigga. Dick get hard by the song. Real niggas with big dicks. On the mic like it's a dick. I wanna fuck Tyler in his ass. See, I'm in love with him. I wanna come at him and get him up. It's more than your body, baby. Damn, it's your brain. You make me wanna kiss you like baby kiss Wayne. He think he hard with a chopper beat his meat. Tell them faggot ass niggas wrap their lips around my dick. I handle homo solo. Hey yo, what's up with that bull jingle jack? An easy dick, it smelling like MC Ray shit. Yeah, nigga, when we see your ass, we gon' cut your hair off and fuck you with a broomstick. If I got no nuts, it's because they still stuck in your ass. I'll jump over hiding in the room. Fuck them with the broom. See, Zay told me that's my nigga. Who you think you're dealing with? You don't want it with me. I got Tic Tacs in my mouth with a big dick. Gap teeth in your mouth, so my dick's, dick's got, got the fit. Pool stick all in his ass. Tell him take that. that. I bitch use a man because that bitch is true. About a month later, they found his body stashed in the trash bag with the cucumber in his ass. Motherfucker, rip your butthole out of place. I might get your ass quick fast like my name was Flash. <laughs> What's oh going on guys? God. Welcome to the final installment of Suspect Rap Lyrics. This right here will be the final video on this series. Now I know I said I might make more in the future, but I'm honestly not motivated to keep this series going. As I have more incredible video ideas for this channel. I also never plan on this being a long running series on this channel in the first place. Like the first time I came up with the idea, I just thought it would be funny to poke fun at some rappers because, well, you know, this is a comedy based channel. Like I never planned on doing like 20 of these videos, let alone 5. But I think the proper way for me to end this series is to count down the most suspect rap lyrics throughout the 5 videos. Mm. And that's exactly what I'm about to do. So without any further ado, kick back, grab your drinks and snacks, snacks, and let's enjoy the final installment on this series. Oh, which man. is the top 25 most suspect rap lyrics of all time. You know what's crazy? I got this song on my phone. When I'm in the car and this song come on, these videos pop in my head before the actual song do. It's crazy. The dope beat. Somebody, Somebody told, told me, me that fuck with it. it. But I traded and do what I can't fuck with it. 
And WA is like a mix of fix the tricks. Real, Real niggas, niggas with big dicks. Now, a lot of people are gonna pass this off by saying MC Ren is talking about clips. Okay, if that were true, then why is he grabbing his genitalia? Throughout this whole music video, members of NWA are toting desert eagles, shotguns, revolvers, and a lot more weapons. But for this particular scene, Ren doesn't <laughs> have a gun. I mean, if he was talking about a gun clip, why not show that? They showed all these other weapons. Like, what the hell? Real niggas with big dicks. That's gay. That's gay. That's that throwback wrap Jesus. They lips around my penis. I mean, you couldn't come up with the line less suspect. I mean, he could have easily said some shit like, and tell them faggot ass niggas, I keep a bad bitch. But instead, True. he would rather them to perform oral sex on them. Tell them faggot ass niggas, wrap their lips around my dick. Nigga, you gay. Nigga, you the devil. They always want to dance. Oh, no. Big slim dog. 80 pound ball. What? Thick six inch long. Mm. <laughs> For those of you who didn't That's catch not that, the worst Eminem song I've ever heard. I think Insane might be the gayest Eminem song going, ever. Mm, yeah, like he wants it or some shit. 80 pound ball, thick six inch long. There isn't really thing else to say about this movie. <laughs> Snoop just openly admitted to the world that he really loves the sight of Eminem's penis. And Eminem is just like, you goddamn right. 80 pound ball, what? thick six inch long. Sound like some gay shit. Sound like some gay shit to me. Brother named Q-Tip, who claimed he had a problem with this gangsta shit. Behind closed doors, went in his mouth like a drinking. Took this nigga by the name of Dub, caught him slipping. Tied his ass up and threw him in a truck. Put an apple in his mouth and dug his ass out. About a month later, they found his body stashed in a trash bag with a cucumber in his ass. <laughs> Bro, I have so many questions for this shit. <laughs> First off, he said he was going to tie Q-Tip up, and out of all things to gag his mouth with, he chose a fucking apple. Okay, <laughs> fruit strike number one. Fruit then strike. he said that he dug him out? Now, I'm pretty sure some niggas gonna be in the comments saying, when he say dug his ass out, he talking about shooting him with a gun. No, oh, nigga, fuck all that. <laughs> all right, fruit strike number two. And then to top off the gayness, he then said he shoved a cucumber up his ass. Like, why the hell would you do that? Yeah. Man, what's up with I, these I dudes are shoving items up dudes' asses? First it was a broomstick, then it was a pool stick, now we got a cucumber? <laughs> Bro, I have no more words for this shit. No, 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 hell no. Oh my God. Yeah, nigga, when we see your ass, we gonna cut your hair off and fuck you with a broomstick. Bro, why couldn't you just stop at cutting a man's hair? Why you gotta be on that prison yard shit? All right, let me ask y'all this. If a man isn't gay, would you think he would want to involve himself in a scenario like this? Because if you would, you got a little sugar in your tank. You got a little oh, sugar in your tank. That. You got a whole lot of damn sugar in your tank. <laughs> yeah, nigga, when we see your ass, we gonna cut your hair off and fuck you with a broom Bro, that's some brutal you know shit for real. That's what time it is, you know what I'm saying? Pause. Yeah, motherfucker, right back on your ass. I hear it in the bushes and I crept up through the grass. No, no, okay. No, not only are you looking at a man's ass, you also want to tag it. For those of you who don't know, tag it is another way of saying fornication. So, as we can see by this rap lyric, DJ Quick is extremely attracted to Everlast's butt. You got a big booty, Everlast, and wants to stick his you know what in you know that's where. That's weird. I don't you understand. Like, like when he was in the booth rapping well, let me tell you like, something you might got more than trash than me but Bruh. you ain't got the skills to eat a nigga's ass like me now let's take a look at this <laughs> right here and try to figure out other ways to interpret it no okay 
I got nothing. Now I agree with the line that Cannabis said previously as he mentions that it doesn't matter how much money the other person has because all that really matters is who has more skill. But what mm -hmm. the hell kind of skill is Cannabis talking about? Talking about eating ass. That's what he's talking right about. Man. I believe he's talking about the skill of eating another man's ass. Well let me tell you something. You might got more cash than me but you ain't got the skills to eat a nigga's ass, ass like, like me. me. Like there are so many things he could have said in this line so that oh it wouldn't God. come off his gate. He could have said, I don't know, you ain't got the skills to rip a nigga in half like me. You ain't got the skill to put your foot in a nigga's ass. I mean, something other than eat a nigga ass. Yeah. Because that shit just don't sound right. Tearing you out is senseless. Oh, Jada Kiss. I, give this bag of the French I remember this one. <laughs> I mean, if that's what you want to do, then go right ahead. I just think it's a little weird for a straight man to say he's going to French kiss a gay guy. So I give this bag of the French kiss. Uh, I can tell these young boys ain't got no heart in them. Niggas funny, I don't even like to talk with them. Me either, but we got to play it smart with them. Man, fuck them in the ass. Now, a lot of people say that Gates is talking about finessing, which means talking someone out of their possessions. This will make sense, but after he said fuck him in the ass, he said we finessing for the check. Man, fuck him in the ass, we finessing for the check. Which means that these are two different things, which also means that this line I mean, is suspect as hell. What would have made this line not suspect is if he would have said something like, man, let's take these niggas cash, we finessing for the check. Because true. fuck him in the ass just don't sound right. I mean, I get it when he said fuck him, like, fuck him, like, let's not go around fuck referring to finessing as fucking niggas in the ass. But, yeah. I mean, the clip shit is it bad It don't enough. sound right. Oh, out of context. Yeah. Nigga, you gay. Get money, homicide is what it come with. We the killers, motherfucker. Who you gonna get? I handle homo solo. Wait, 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 wait. You handle what solo? I handle homo solo. <laughs> I mean, I don't think there's another way to interpret this. Like, anytime he's in the presence of a homosexual, he likes Yo, to handle him all by himself. Yo, he got spinning rooms in his wheelchair. And if you think this is right, <laughs> listen to what he says Oh my next. god. Lloyd Blanks. I know you wonder why I ain't say nothing about your bitch ass, but you sucked your assistant dick on tape and he leaked it. What Hold the on, hell? Bro. If this is true, how the hell would you know? Like, did you watch this so called sex tape of Lloyd Banks and his assistant? Because if you did, boy, you gay as hell. <laughs> You're a fucking boy, you dick sucking hell. faggot. Niggas homos. Y'all could Google it. Did this nigga just suggest that I go Google some gay shit? Man, get this nigga off my screen. No matter where I'm at, I got time. Hey, hey. Shawty got some real good pinners. I get it. Wait, get whoa, 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 whoa. I get it. Shawty got some real good what? Pinners. Bro, why didn't you proofread this <laughs> shit? I know he was trying to put a twist on the word puss, but it came out like penis. <laughs> Shawty got some real good pinners. You gay. I know. Well, just because Luke got gap teeth doesn't mean you should just go Drawl. stick your penis in his mouth. Drawl. Because I'm pretty sure he ain't with that shit. Gay -ass motherfuckers. And what makes this line <laughs> even worse is when Snoop Dogg follows up with this. Well, my nuts so don't get tons. So. Then they also say this crazy shit. Now understand this, my nigga Drake can't be touched. Luke's bending over, so Luke's getting fucked. Bro, what the hell are these dudes <laughs> on? I mean, why don't they just come out and say that they're sexually attracted to Luke? Like, what mm. the hell is up with all the subliminals? Luke's bending over, so Luke's getting fucked. That shit is too funny. With my nuts on your tonsils. Gap teeth in your mouth, so my dicks got the fish. Yo, gay ass motherfuckers. Yo, gay ass motherfuckers. Then I need OG 32 bit computer to be slip between my lips and then I'll spit. Spit it out, spit it out, go ahead, spit it out. That itty bitty style you up, Chuck. Better believe I butt fuck MCs from the rear. No, no. Hey, bro, to no. be real with y'all, I don't know if I can handle any more of these butt fucking lyrics. <laughs> I mean, that's literally all this video has Better been. Believe I'm no. Spit the no so Luke's getting fucked. Pull stick all in his ass. Tell him take that. I'm about a month later, they found his body stashed in the trash bag with the cucumber in his ass. Hey. Motherfucker, rip your butthole out of lace. I might get in your ass quick fast like my name was Flash. But believe I put fucking C's from the rear. And what makes Ooh. this lyric worse from Damn all the nice. others that is that he long. tells us who exactly who he's gonna butt fuck. But believe I put fucking C's from the rear. Hell no. To the no, no, no. Hell to the no. Hell to the no. To the no, no, no. Oh, no. God. I put short team more pussy and stitches. I fuck. Before I fuck them up, we have to escape with That's fucked 
Because he, he did a song with don't know who RuPaul is, he's a famous drag queen. But most importantly, he is a man that Biggie said he'd fuck instead of females. I don't know. I don't know about y'all, but Candy and Tiny can get smacked. Yeah, I was about to Even say that. Even back then, they could get. I honestly believe that Biggie really found RuPaul attractive and really wanted to smash him because I find it really odd that he would say this on a song dedicated to women. What? trip. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Go for the bullshit. Oh my god, this, this, this verse right here. You be fucking around, chump nigga. I stop a mud hole in your face, motherfucker. Rip your butthole out of place. <laughs> Bro, what the hell? Like, what is up with all this oh anal god. penetration? Like, I never knew that this was a known what? torture method amongst these rappers. Like, this dude literally said he will whip your butthole out of place. <laughs> Bro, let's just move on because there is no way of getting around this shit. Motherfucker, oh <laughs> rip your butthole out of place. I bet you're the kind of guy that would fuck a person in the ass and not even have the goddamn common courtesy to give him a reach around. I'm out the closet, I've been lying my ass off all this time, me and Dre been fucking with hats. Okay, there is absolutely nothing suspect about these lyrics because he literally said that him and Dr. Dre have unprotected sex and Dr. Dre chimes in by telling him to suck as you know what. All this time, me and Dre been fucking with hats off. I, mean, I have, I have no say. problem with people coming out the closet. If that's what y'all do, then that's what y'all do. I'm gonna just leave it at that. I might dick in your ass quick fast like my name was Flash. Bro, what? Bro, I thought this song was about beating dudes up, not what? dicking niggas in the ass. Like, what the hell is this dude thinking? Another thing I find funny about this is when Lord Jamar is on DJ Vlad's platform, he's oftentimes accused of being homophobic. And you know what's crazy? So am I. And I really don't understand why. I mean, if you can't handle jokes, you need to get your sensitive ass off my channel. But anyway, people always call Lord Jamar homophobic. But there's no way that this dude is homophobic. Because just in case you didn't hear it, listen to this shit again. I might dig in your ass quick fast like my name was Flash. Hashtag half a fag. I just get off, not just that. Yo, I what say I do it. Mean? Shock and I know that we <laughs> in Hollywood. Don't get jelled if we cash lot checks. Cause we skid a little dip, 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 dip for effects. Brothers think I listen, but I'm really on the dicks. Look into my album, kid, you see all the flicks. <laughs> Bro, not only did this man say that he was on brother's dicks, he then proceeded to say that there is flicks of him doing this sexual act? Like, did this dude really just hop on the track promoting his X-rated movie? I think that's exactly bruh. what he did. Yeah, bro. I don't see any other way of interpreting this shit. My man is just flat out laid that's all his personal shit, info bro. dead see on the video? track. Brothers think I'm this and but I'm really on the dicks. Look into my album, kid, you see all the flicks. Dude, are you gay? It, dude, it's not a big deal. You oh, like to fuck guys. I'm cool. Version. I got friends that fuck guys in jail. Okay, you know what? No, I get it. No. Ariel is saying this because Ice Cube said that he had no nuts on King of the Hill. The other reason why he's saying this is because Cube supposedly stole his lyrics. But no matter the reason, the shit still sounds wrong. Okay, now that's just gay. You eat a nigga's ass like an almond joy. Not only is this shit gay, it's also very disgusting. This dude just submitted to the world that he <laughs> eats shit out of men's asses. What? Because if you don't know what an almond joy is, it's a chocolate candy bar that, that looks, looks like, like shit, shit turd. Yeah, and does. this guy flat out just said he's gonna eat a nigga ass like a candy bar that looks like a shit wow. turd. No wonder I don't listen to these niggas. When I met you, I admit my first thoughts was a trick. You look so good, huh? I suck on your daddy's dick. 
Hold up, wait a minute, time out. <laughs> if your girl is fine, why the hell would you suck her daddy's dick? Now, I know he's saying this because his girlfriend is extremely attractive, but it still doesn't explain why he would perform oral sex on her father. I mean, why not just perform oral sex on her? He could have said some shit like, you look so good, I can suck your clit. He could have even switched out her father and just said that he would do her mother. I mean, anything but putting another man's penis in your mouth. Now, this right here is definitely one of the gayest <laughs> rap lyrics ever. Yeah, and it definitely. only gets worse. Damn, I never had my dick sucked by a man before. But you gon' be the first, you little trick ass hoe. Then you can tell me just how it tastes. But before I know, I shoot some piss in your face. That's some gay there shit. Are so many you can't get Around that. That's just I don't know where to begin. First off, he says that he's never received oral sex from a man before. My question is, why the fuck would you want that? And why are you so curious? <laughs> then he says he wants MCA to tell him how his penis tastes. I don't even have to explain how gay this shit is. And lastly, he says that before he ejaculates, He's gonna R. Kelly on his face. Bruh. Like, what kind of sick shit is this? And how is this shit considered gangster? This shit is just borderline gay. Yeah, this shit is gay. I never had my dick sucked by a man before. But you gon' be the first, you little trick ass hoe. Then you can tell me just how it tastes. But before I know, I shoot some piss in your face. Ooh, gay ass nigga. Like, what was he thinking right now? Call all my fucking niggas up. Call them niggas. And tell them it's time to rhyme. See Zay Tobin, that's my nigga. I've been fucking him forever. <laughs> Bro, what the hell? This shit ain't even suspect. This shit right here is just downright gay. Like this man literally just Bruh. said he's been fucking His another been man over. forever. Like damn, my nigga, forever? What kind of shit is that? Now the thing that triggers me the most is the ad lib that comes after the gay shit was said. See Zay Tobin, that's my nigga. I've been fucking him forever. Yeah. This right here yeah. is a clear indication <laughs> that he went back and heard the gay shit he said and approved it by adding the ad lib. Like, did this dude have somebody in the studio with him to correct this shit? <laughs> shit. I guess not. And for that, he rightfully earns the number one spot on this list. She say, Tobin, that's my nigga. I've been fucking him forever. Ooh, gay ass nigga, <laughs> shut up, shut up. I love the boondocks, yo. Yeah. I listen to you. Huh. Biggie Smalls is the wickedest. Biggie. Nigga say I'm pussy. I dare you to stick your dick in this. You dare men to stick their penis inside you? Okay, if that's what you're into. I get it, but it's worded bad. That's what you're into, but it's pretty fucking gay. But this next line just seals the deal. Niggas press their luck in, they get a butt fucking. Straight up the ass raw dog with the rash, and I don't fuck with the condoms. The condoms is the problem from the AIDS getting sprayed. Diseases, big pleases, MCs across the seas is just the way I clutch my prey. Hey. <laughs> It's, All right. it's fire, but it's this gay. Dude is a closet homosexual. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Because what straight man says this? This dude literally just said he's gonna butt fuck a group of guys with no condom. He also says that he's going to spread the AIDS virus as he is pleased to spread this disease. Bro. This dude is just sick out of his mind. Oh my god. Hater, why are you such yes, a hater? Yes. Why you always talking shit about Tyler the Creator? You just mad cause he made it and you didn't. This is sad, but actually, I wanna fuck Tyler in his ass. See, I'm in love with him. I wanna come at him and get him open. Then get my dick sucked by faggot ass Frankie Ocean. While the dyke girl DJ bites my pearl tongue three ways for three days. Me and Wolfgang were each gay. <laughs> Okay, Bruh. I honestly have nothing Bruh. to say about this. This man just flat out said that he wants to have sex with Tyler the Creator and other things that I can't mention. So there's really no point in me trying to break these lyrics down or find another meaning. Because I mean, he I mean he said this shit. Ain't really nothing I can do. I wanna fuck Tyler in his ass. See, I'm in love with him. I wanna come at him and get him open. They get my dick sucked by faggot ass Frankie Ocean. Mm -hmm. While the night girl DJ bites my pearl tongue three ways for okay. three days. Me and Wolf gang or each gang. But what God. makes matters even more worse, Tyler the Creator ended up responding to King Gordy with these suspect lines. You don't want a problem, bitch. Oh, you gonna call the police? Well, give me your phone. I'ma use your anytime minutes. Dial my home number. You don't believe me, nigga? Just come see me, nigga. Come D me, nigga. <laughs> no! Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just playing. This one the response to King Gordy. Just thought I'd throw this funny shit in here just to mess with y'all. Yo, what's 
what's the name of this song? Somebody please tell me in the comments so I can download it. I got a guy that raps and I want him to rap on this joint. I'll post it on this channel. I need to know the name of that song. That is the top 25 most suspect rap lyrics of all time. It's the last uh, final video of the Suspect Rap Lyrics series by Gully Boy. So, if y'all want to go see those, go to subscribe to Dully, Dully Boy. Gully Boy, right in the description. He got one through five on his channel, or you can go to my channel and watch my reactions to it. But I'd rather you go watch his instead. Um, and that's about it. I mean, y'all let me know which one was the worst for y'all. I think still to this day... Um, cannabis might have the worst one. Where what do you say? You ain't, you ain't, you might got more cash than me, but you ain't got the skills to eat a nigga ass like me. That one in the DMX when he said I rip your butthole out of place. That shit is crazy. It's what? <laughs> this gay as hell, bro. But uh, yo, y'all let me know which one was the worst one for y'all. Write it down in the description. In the description. Write it down in the comments. And uh, I see y'all in the next video. Thumbs up, guys, and subscribe to the channel for daily content. Um, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.